Good morning and welcome to ICAO's celebration of the United Nations World Environment Day. I'm currently representing ICAO at the Bonn Climate Change Talks, one of the meetings in preparation to COP15. COP15 will take place at the end of the year in Copenhagen and a post-Kyoto agreement on climate change is to be decided. So as you can see, I'm actively contributing to this year's in World Environment Day team, which is your planet needs you. Unite to combat climate change. When the Chicago Convention was signed, one of the key expectations was that the future development of international civil aviation would greatly help to create and preserve friendship and understanding among the nations and peoples of the world. The task of uniting the world is thus very familiar to ICAO. Aviation has and will remain a significant factor in unifying the world. This is an important goal and we in ICAO are committed to this uniting role. ICAO deals with the challenges of addressing climate change issues at three different levels. First of all, as the organization in charge of all matters relating with international aviation, including aviation emissions, we are dedicated to developing and keeping environmental standards, guidance and policies up to date. Also, as part of our activities, we are collaborating in the huge efforts by the United Nations, and in particular, those of the UNFCCC on climate change, where we are providing our vision and expertise on how the aviation industry can become a sustainable industry in the future. Although globally aviation represents only 2% of all man-made CO2, it is expected that these emissions will continue to grow and appropriate measures are being sought to address these emissions. This effort encompasses a series of possible measures of a technological, operational and economic nature, as well as other out-of-the-box solutions. For example, the exploration of alternative fuels for aviation as a possible key component of a future strategy to reduce aviation's dependence on fossil fuels and thus reduce its carbon footprint. We can even imagine a future where aviation would have a zero carbon footprint, where we would use, for example, biofuels produced from plants that would absorb the amount of emissions generated by the flight operations, fully compensating the emissions under a life cycle approach. Secondly, as a UN organization and following a call from the UN Secretary General, Ban Ki-moon, ICAO is dealing with its own organizational responsibility and its carbon footprint. As you are aware, ICAO has developed a globally accepted tool that enables individuals to calculate the emission generated by their travel. ICAO has supported all other UN agencies by providing a special interface between this calculator and their travel databases to enable generating an inventory of the emissions from their travel. This ICAO tool is now part of the tool package to be used by all UN agencies in generating their carbon footprint. We are preparing our carbon inventories in order to estimate ICAO's emissions. While doing this, we will look at ways that will allow our organization to grow while becoming more efficient and more environmentally friendly in its activities. In this regard, I wish to acknowledge the initiative from the ICAO Staff Association in providing its members with reusable water bottles. This simple action will help reduce the use of plastic and the production of waste within ICAO. I congratulate the Staff Association for this initiative and I hope that more actions of this kind will follow. Thirdly, as individuals, and there we can make an important contribution to the fight against climate change. We should remember that a change, even small, in our daily behavior can make a big difference overall. 
I'm happy to announce that we will post weekly green tips on the IKEA website, providing information to all staff on environmental friendly best practices in order to encourage a change in behavior and lifestyle. We should follow these tips not only during work, but also during our personal lives, whether commuting, eating, or in simple actions at home. I must also mention the IKEA Drawing Contest for children. The children are our future, and it is for them that we are fighting for a better environmentally sustainable world. The energy and imagination of children can teach us as many lessons. Before I left, I had the chance to take a look at the drawings. Some of these drawings will add color and excitement in the next edition of the IKEA Environmental Report. I believe very strongly that cooperation from our staff and their families would lead to a positive change in our future generations. In conclusion, I regret not being able to be in IKEA headquarters with you for this green celebration, and I hope you are enjoying your World Environment Day. I thank everybody for their contributions in making this day a success. I especially appreciate your enthusiastic participation and your efforts in guiding your children in contributing to the drawing contest. Happy World Environment Day.